Bear in mind that these private entrepreneurs who actually took up the venture of running schools had in mind profit. Mm. Don't divorce the part of profit. Education may actually be part of the social, you know, infrastructure of the state, but there's also a business side to it. Okay. Uh, so the business side to it is actually a response to what the national economy says. You remember, we have the national economic life. Aspect of national economic life could be mining, could be this, but education is one of the substructure in it. And uh, the private school has actually found a very big market in Nigeria. And so you don't think the capitalist nature of education has declined it? No, it has not. Uh, uh, do, do you agree with him, um, uh, Sadu? No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't because um, if you take a census of what is happening in our private schools, mm. many of the teachers are not trained or qualified teachers. Mm. The condition of service is poor. So they are merely using them to keep students and make money. And of course, you see that the issues about miracle centers and um, students must pass, they all came from private private, uh, private schools. Mm. So I, I think that um, once uh, we left that, that segment, that sector to individuals who are, as she said, profit-minded, uh, then as a matter of fact, it's going to be what would determine your performance is how much money that is in the hand right. of the proprietor. And mm -hmm. so the competition among private schools now on who is best in JAM or who is best in WAEC or any other sponsored competition, you can clearly see that people may even go beyond what is accepted to influence the position. So they advertise with that because it's merely a product on the shelf to be purchased now, now, now let, me, let me throw a question now you know um the director general of the national teachers institute has said that um there is the plan to introduce a one-year mandatory teacher internship program you have mentioned that um, a lot of the teachers in the private sector are not necessarily teachers and you 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 mentioned something in that nature now the question will be will <coughs> this help yeah, it will. Uh, anything that is um, in the area of training and retraining will definitely be acceptable. But the problem may not just be with the training. The problem is in the practice in the various places. Mm. Those who are the owners of this uh, um, these institutions are not driven by the quality of um, the output. They are simply thinking about how much money they are going to make. And if that's the case, you may as well give them training, which is good by the way. But after that, where do they practice? With what do they demonstrate and, and help the, the students? You see, the policy we have in education, where government is almost leaving or abdicating responsibility and completely giving it over to the private sector, is going to destroy completely our education because the competition is not competition of knowledge, it's competition of profit. All right. Um, do, do you, you want to say something? No, I, I actually don't share the opinion of uh, Dr. Sadu. Yeah. Even the opinion are sacred. And are yeah. sacred. Uh, the reason is that, one, um, you, you know the history of uh, our contact. Yeah. Uh, some of them may have, especially those in the private sector, one thing that is very clear is this. Uh, I think uh, doctors should also understand that education is not what the government alone can fund. There's an individual contribution to education. That is one side to it. The second perspective to it is that if we look at education as Miracle Center, remember some of us are trained as teachers. Okay. We are certified. Okay. We took the pain of writing TRC and exam to make sure that we actually meet the professional ethics. Mm. And so by so doing, there are schools too in this state. You can bear me witness, even your alma mater. We are against Zama practice. Mm. And then over the years, I have evolved, you know, as a school administrator, and I'm also aware that there are courts and there are short courts to exam my practices. But there are schools that don't do it, especially the big schools in town. What thing you may say about them is that the cost of entry may be very, very high and mm. expensive. Mm. But the desired result <coughs> will always be sorry, there. Sorry about that. Will always be there. So it is on this basis that I say, well, first and foremost, if we claim to be you know, a capitalist country, whether semi-capitalist or mixed, as the case may be, what it means is that the government alone cannot fund education. Mm. 
Okay. There's a private input into education. Mm. Uh, and also, some of the product of these private schools are not even doing badly. Let's take it beyond the, pri the primary and secondary school, even in the university. Some of the private universities in Nigeria are also doing extremely well. Uh, you remember the current ranking of university? Yeah, yeah. Of um, course, it was not even a... If, if, yes, yeah, it was a private university. So what I'm saying is that your market is what you call it to be. That's exactly the position the society should know. The point he made about government not being... Uh, not uh, being able to sponsor education alone is not correct. This is what the people in governance have told us. Is Nigeria more capitalist than, than, than Finland? Is Nigeria more capitalist than Germany? Is Nigeria more capitalist than UK? <laughs> you just, we have examples. Education is a social good. It cannot be commercialized. Particularly in developing countries, what government is doing in Nigeria is to sell this idea. And they tell you, see, government alone cannot fund it. What can government alone do in Nigeria? All right. What are some of the challenges, you know, in the private sector? What is what is the problem? What, what, with the I think sector? it's good to categorize their problem in three ways. There's a manpower problem in the private sector. Okay. Chances are that a teacher who is actually uh, not a professional, for instance, if you didn't study history, chances are because the school wants you to meet a particular workload for a week, you may actually be asked to do subjects that you don't have competencies in. It's, it's obvious. Another aspect of it is that you look at it. Most private schools don't have retirement plan for their staff okay so it ch you could actually work in a school for 20 years for 23 years by the time you are going home it's your last salary that you took home you so so that's a problem because one if there's no social insurance for you after you have taught for this number of years especially mm. in the private setting uh, you cannot even think of the profession because it takes somebody who has something in the tummy to see a lot so so even in the private sector the the teachers are not giving their flowers if i can tell you 18 85 percent of the teachers don't have retirement plan in the private sector interesting mm. okay um, uh, 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 what do you think the government can do? Because it is the government who still would give licenses to the private um, schools. What do you think the government or the government can do to ensure that education in the private sector is improved? And 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 how do we even in the uh, private sector incentivize? teaching profession well very let's start from here uh, government will tell you that you must be given operational permit for you to run a school of course which is true and from time to time they come in with a quarterly you know uh, uh, supervision plan they visit your school mm. and when you they want uh, subject accreditation they send people from NICO and YEC to you they'll come in and do accreditation so that you can do certain subject which is noble but the problem is not just sending people there the quality of people that is sent to you is also a problem mm. some of them actually are concerned with what is going to come out some will even tell you we are unable to climb your stairways please let's have your diaries by the time they flip through the diary they say what about our transport fare which is also a problem because by so doing the quality control of the school is affected mm -hmm.